Hello, my name is Scott Chacon, and this Git cast is on Git diff. So, what we're going to do is edit one of these files um, in our repository, and then I'm going to show you a couple different ways to see what has changed in your repository. So, I'm going to go in here and change this to be, you know, just add in a new function of this class, and then we're going to use git diff to see how that changed. So if we have modified this file, diff, and we can see that, that that function has been added, right? That method has been added to the class. So that's cool. And I've also changed the readme there as well um, earlier. So if you run git status, you can see the readme and the file have been changed. So now I'm going to add in the file to the index. So if you just want to see what has changed in the index, um, if, you, if you run git diff now, it'll just show you what has changed in your working directory. Right, so it only, it'll only show you the change in the README because that has not been added to the index. If you run git diff dash dash cached, then it'll only show you what has changed between what's in your repo and what's in your index. And if you say git diff head, it'll show you what has changed between everything that is is and is not cached, is and is not added into your index. Um, so that's an easy way to just get a diff of everything that's changed since the last uh, commit. If you just want to see what's been added, you can do dash dash cached. If you just want to see everything that hasn't been added yet, you can just do git diff. So now we're going to see how to find the difference between an older version and your current version. So if we see, if you can see rev parse ma master uh, tilde three is the third parent third grandparent of master so i can do git diff master tilde 3 and it'll show me every change between that commit and this one and i can put that into textmate we can see that a little bit easier but this is this is a big uh, unified diff uh, patch file right uh, if you just look at the output of it and there's some other tricks we can do we can specify a path, which will show us all of the changes in that file between those two um, commits. And we can also try a different commit. So this is the 10th grandparent. So we can see more changes between where we currently are and 10 commits ago. And this is just for that one file, because if you do dash dash and then a path, it will only show you the changes for whatever matches that path. And you can also do a directory path. So you could just do dash dash lib and it would show you everything that's changed in the lib directory. Right. Now I can also, I can also look at the differences between two commits, one of which is not the current commit, right? So if I do git diff, one and then the other, it'll show me the differences between those two. And I can also use dash dash stat to see what has changed. And I can add, um, I can add a path limiter as well if I only want to see the changes between these two commits for this single file. Now, the dash dash stat is nice because you can actually just see what has changed in your diff before you actually run your diff. <clears throat> so I can see that if I do 10, 10 commits ago, I have some changes. If I do 20 commits ago, I have, you know, a different set of changes. If I want to see the difference between 10 and 20 commits ago, um, I can just see that as well. And then if you want to get the patch file for that, you just leave off the dash dash stat. Um, dash dash name status does largely the same thing only it just gives you the names it doesn't give you um, and whether it's been added removed or, or modified um, but be between those commits so this is between the current commit and 10 commits ago um, and this is between 10 commits ago and five commits ago only this file changed
And again, if I take off the dash dash uh, name status or the dash dash stats, it just gives me a diff file. So I can also run numstat, which is something, uh, most of these are similar to the git log command options as well. And that shows me the number of lines added and removed from each file um, in that diff. And dash dash name only will just give me the names of everything that has changed within those between those two diffs or from the current diff to the one that you're specifying. Now, we can see here, if you just do diff, it'll give you a couple lines before and after um, what has been changed. If you do dash dash unified and then a number, you can change how many lines of context that that has. So if you want more or fewer lines of context in your diff file, you can specify that with dash dash context. I'm sorry, dash dash unified. So now I'm going to reset this to, um, to a different branch. So now if I look at the differences between this branch and my master branch, I can do that and output that into a patch file, right? And then I can run git apply with a patch file that is made through git diff and it'll apply that patch. And now, I can see that I have a whole bunch of changed files because that patch file has been applied. And if I do a diff between where I currently am now and the master branch, um, I can see that there are no differences. And patch-p1 and pipe in the patch file does basically the exact same thing as git apply. Um, so it's just a unified diff. The, the output of git diff is just a unified diff that you can use with patch command if you wanted to. So now that is a way that I have made my test branch up to date with my master branch by just creating a patch between the two and then applying it locally and then doing one commit that brings it fully up to date. So those are some common commands that you can use with git diff that uh, may be very helpful to your git workflow.